Okay, good day, Core 006 students. Since we are done with our Module 4, let's now proceed to our Module 5. And it's all about standardizing a normally distributed random variable. Yeah, and for this module, we have two objectives. Okay, first will be identify regions under the normal curve corresponding to different standard normal values. And lastly, yeah, we are going to convert a normal random variable to a standard normal variable and vice versa. Yan. Okay. Okay, let's have first this one, mga anak. When we say standard normal distribution, it is a special case of the normal distribution. It is the distribution that occurs when a normal random variable has a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. Yeah, In order for formula. you to understand that very carefully, let's consider this formula. Okay, we have our formula in finding our z-score or standard table, and this is equal to x minus this symbol divided by standard deviation. The big question is, anong ibig sabihin ng mga symbol na ito? Okay, z it stands for z-score or standard score, wherein x is our row score or real score. Minus, this symbol is what we call as our mean, and this symbol is our standard deviation. Let's now proceed to our first example. What if the given is mean is equal to 75, real score is 80, standard deviation is equal to 5.1, Z is equal to what? We know, guys, that Z, okay, is equal to row score minus mean all over standard deviation. Isn't it, Ma'am Tintin? Yes. Okay? Let's just substitute the given. Our row score is equal to 80. Again, row score, pwede rin namang sabihing real score. Minus mean, but our mean is 75. Minus 75 divided by our standard deviation, which is 5.1. That is equal to what? Okay? Using our calculator... We have now 80 minus 75 all over 5.1 that is equal to 0 0.98. Okay? Para maging pare-pareho tayo mga anak for this particular topic, take note that we will consider two digits right after the decimal point. Take note mga anak that our Z is 0 0.98. Sabi ni Ma'am Tintin kanina, ang Z natin ay hinding hindi lalagpas kay 4. Okay, let's now have example number 2. Okay, we have our given. Mean is equal to 83. Raw score is equal to 73. Our standard deviation is equal to 6.2. Let's now compute for Z. Okay, so our formula is Z is equal to raw score minus mean all over standard deviation. Okay, so our X is equal to what? We have 73 minus mean is 83 all over 6.2. Nakikita ba, Ma'am Tin? Yes. So we have now 73 minus 83 is equal to what? Negative 10. Negative 10 all over 6.2. Okay, using our calculator, we have now negative 10 divided by 6.2 our Z now is equal to negative 1.61. Okay, take note. Our Z ay hindi dapat lalagpas kay 4. Okay, it's either positive or negative. Okay, mga anak, let's have example number 3. Ang sarap ng hangin dito, Ma'am Tin, no? True. I score of 144 on a test with a mean of 128 and a standard deviation of 34. Find the standard score. Okay, standard score, ang ating hanapin is... Z, isn't it? Sabi niya, score. Score is our row score or real score. So this is X is equal to 144 with a mean of 128 and a standard deviation of 34. Our mean is 128 and a standard deviation is equal to 34. Okay, our formula in finding Z is equal to what? Z is equal to row score minus mean all over Standard deviation. Our x equal to 144 minus what? Mean is 128. All over standard deviation is 34. So we have now is equal to. Wow, daming alamang ah. 
144 minus 128 is equal to divided by, di mo na nakita mga ulitin natin, 144 minus, okay, 128 is equal to, divided by 34 is equal to, we have now 0.47. Again, two digits right after the decimal point. Tuloy-tuloy tayo, Ma'am Tintin. Okay, will you please read example number four? A score of 18 on a test with a mean of 15 and a standard deviation of 5. Find the standard, standard score. score. Again, we're looking for Z. Okay? Okay, our X or row score or real score is equal to 18. Okay, while our mean is equal to 15. 15 and our standard deviation is equal to 5. 5. Okay, Z is equal to x minus mean all over standard deviation. Okay? Our score is 18 minus 15 all over 5. Isn't it? Yes. Okay? 18 minus 15, ma'am, tin tin? Oh, 3 all over 5. But 3 divided by 5 using our calculator, that is equal to 0 0.6. Okay. Okay, let's have our example number 5. We have mean is equal to question mark or yun ang ating hanapin. Our score or real score is equal to 59. Our mean, standard deviation I should say, is equal to 5. And our Z score is equal to negative 2.6. But take note, ang alam lang natin formula mga anak is Z is equal to X minus mean all over standard deviation. Question, Sir Jason paano yan? Okay, ang ating... Ang ating unknown ay ang ating mean. mean. Okay? In order for us to get the formula in finding our mean, let's use derivation, derivation of formula. So, let's derive this formula. To derive this one, okay, punta tayo sa original. Okay? Lagi namin palaging sinasabi ni Ma'am Tintin, okay, o whole number, maski variable yan or number, meron siya imaginary denominator of 1. one. Isn't it? Fraction versus fraction, magkakaroon tayo ng cross, cross multiplication. multiplication. Z times standard deviation, Ma'am Tin? Z standard deviation. Z standard deviation is equal to X minus mean times 1 is obviously X, X minus, minus mean. mean. Since mean lang ating kailangan, okay, what will you do? Transpose. Transpose natin yung mean. It I, transfer sorry. natin yung x, x, isn't it? So we have now x standard deviation, okay, from positive magiging negative. negative. Okay, equal to negative, negative mean. mean. Since meron pa siyang negative, okay, let's divide both sides by negative, negative 1. Negative 1, isn't it? Yes. So our mean now is equal to negative z standard deviation, negative divided by negative positive x. So, this is our formula in finding our mean. Okay? At dahil alam na natin ang formula in finding our mean, we are now ready to substitute, isn't it? So, we have now mean is equal to negative Z standard deviation plus row score. Equal to negative Z is equal to what, ma'am? Negative 2.6, okay? Times the standard deviation, which is? 5. 5. Plus x, our x is equal to? 59. 59. Take note, ma'am. Negative times negative is equal to? Positive. Positive. So, 2.6 times 5 plus 59. Isn't it? Iniisa-isa ko lang po. Equal to? 2.6 times 5 is equal to? 13 plus 59. Okay? Our mean now is 13 plus 59 equal to 72. Mariwanag po? Yes. Okay, let's have example number 6. Okay? In our example number 6, ang nawawala naman po ay ang ating X. Okay? So, mean is equal to 52.3. Okay? Mean or row score is question mark. Our standard deviation is equal to 10. And J is equal to 0 0.97. Okay? Let's again, what ma'am? Derive. Okay? Dahil ang kukunin natin naman ay ang C formula ng X. X. Okay, this is our formula number one. Nakikita ba, ma'am? Mm-mm. Nakikita, hindi? Yes, nakikita. This is our formula number one. This is our formula number two. At hanapin naman natin ang formula ng X. So, derive muna tayo. Z is equal to X minus mean over standard deviation. Meron tayong imaginary denominator of one. 
So, cross multiply, magiging Z, standard deviation, minus X, minus mean. Okay, since X lang, iwan natin yun. From negative, magiging positive, equal to X. So, our formula is X is equal to Z, standard deviation, plus mean. This is our formula number? Three. Three. Okay. So, we have now X is equal to Z, standard deviation, plus mean. Our Z is what? 0.97 Our standard deviation is what? 10 Times I times 10, I'm sorry This is times 10 Plus mean is 52.3 52 Equal to what? 0 0.97 times 10, 10 Is equal to what? 9.7 Plus 52.3 9.7 Plus 52.3 is equal to what? 62. So our x is equal to 62. And last example, we have now mean is equal to 60. Our row score is equal to 75. And our standard deviation i nawawala. While our z is equal to 2.25. Again and again and again mga anak, let's derive our formula. Deriving that formula, we have now <laughs> Wait lang po Original formula muna tayo mga anak Original formula tayo Ang original formula natin is Z X minus mean standard deviation Imaginary 1 So meron tayong Z Standard deviation is equal to X minus mean Isn't it? Ang kailangan lang natin ma'am is standard deviation What will you do? You can transpose it but you can divide it by Z. Divide isn't both it? sides by Z. Okay, so we have now standard deviation is equal to X minus mean all over Z. So this is our formula number? Four. Four. Okay, ita transfer natin dito. Standard deviation is equal to X minus mean all over Z. Standard deviation now is equal to, what is our X, ma'am? 75. 75 minus... Our 60. mean is 60 all over Z, which is 2.25, isn't it? 75 minus 60 is obviously it's 15 all over 2.25. 15 divided by 2.25 is equal to, okay, 6.67. Our standard deviation is equal to 6. 0.67. Again, this is our formula in finding our standard, standard deviation. deviation. And, of course, that's all for that, mga anak. For any question regarding, okay, our topic, module 5, okay, you can always ask me, chat me, anytime. Okay, nandyan din si Ma'am Tintin for any questions. Thank you at mag-aral lang mabuti, mag-ingat, laging tatandaan. Hashtag matibay tayo.